Well, what do you think would be some of the biggest benefits to kids being able to come and train at Gracie Swindon and do jiu-jitsu here? Perfect. That's a good question. Uh, the biggest benefits for kids is they start to have contact with like a healthy lifestyle. They start to work on the coordination, how they learn, how they move their own body, how they should eat, how they should behave. When we start with the young, we start from three years old, talking about discipline, respect, good habits in life. I think it can change the whole future of this child. So the main thing we focus, especially on the little ones, first, coordination. Second, discipline. Also, teamwork. I think that when you start young with this core values, can change someone's whole life. And what would you say if, if someone was bringing their kid, but their kid wasn't very confident, was really nervous to join in the class? How is it going to be for them on their first day? I guarantee it will be a life change. On the first day, it's very common you not to be super confident. Nobody is, all right? But we have like a team as an awesome coach, like amazing team here. So I guarantee when you come in, we're going to help your child to build up this confidence. When you train a martial art, we use it as building a confidence. So always the high grades help the low grades, help the beginners to join the group, join the team, and start build up this sense of belong or something. So when it comes with like a building confidence, and once more, it can change your whole life because it will be more confidence, can help you all aspects of your life. And if you had children who were maybe being bullied at school or picked on do you think that jiu-jitsu is something that would be really beneficial to help them overcome that 100 percent first of all jiu-jitsu is the self-defense is the most efficient efficient self-defense in the world it has been proved over and over again and the amazing thing about jiu-jitsu that you gain you gain this confidence and you don't need to bully somewhere else you don't you don't do nothing how can I say not bad, but you don't want to hurt people. You can control people. You can stand up for yourself. I think that's the main thing. You stand up for yourself uh, and nobody else is going to bully you because your confidence, you know what you can do. So because you know what you can do, nobody does nothing on you because the way you're going to behave. So we have a history here of kids come have been bullied and they change it. All right. Not bullying back the other way around learning how to stand up for themselves. You, you find that like once they have the physical skills, that gives them the confidence to deal with things verbally rather than having to... Exactly, because someone as a general, the bully come verbally on top of the kid. They pick up the kids, they think they're not confident, they will not fight back. When I mean fight back, I don't mean fight with punch. I mean stand up for themselves. All right. So when you become a part of the group, you have like coach, people tell you, you can do that. You can do that. It changed. And of course, you learn the skills as well. What helps. And in terms of like the physical skills, what kind of things will they be learning in the classes at the different age groups? Perfect. When you are small, we learn like the main control positions. Small, I mean, between three and six year old, you start learning how to control your body. You start, we introduce some exercise so we can start build up like a strong body and position yourself in a good place. So if any, any conflict happens, you know where you should be, how you should be, stand when I talk about distance and also on the ground. So even like from little, little ones, after like four weeks training, you clearly can see the change. I mean, between the three and six years old, the way they behave in the group, the way they stand up for themselves, the position in the group. And like you asked about the skills, we have like some positions that is life change. You can control another kid without hurt them. That's the most amazing thing about Jiu Jitsu. I'm running out of questions now. <laughs> I'm running out of questions. You're doing good. Um, what would you say to parents who would maybe be worried that if their children learns this kind of thing, that they might become a bully, that they might pick on the little brother or sister at home, things like that? This is something we teach exactly the other way around for kids. And it's something. I have a good example. You 
Coach Jake, super experience. If a five years old kid come and slap you on your face, what are you going to do? It? <laughs> Probably nothing. Probably nothing. <laughs> Why? You think you're not going to do nothing if a five years old slap you on yeah, your face? Because it's not going to need to. That's the whole point. So, if <laughs> that's the whole thing, yeah. that's a, you don't need to because you don't have nothing to prove. All right? So, it's not going to happen. So, when you do in Jiu Jitsu, your confidence, you not become a bully because what do you say? Because you don't need to. You don't need to. It's exactly the same. If the kid is doing Jiu Jitsu, he doesn't need to bully the other one. Simple like that, exactly. The same way you do nothing if a five years old kid slaps you in your face. If you're doing Jiu Jitsu, you don't have to do nothing. It's the other way around. You want to help people to be on that place that you are right now. Cool. What do you think about, for example, a parent who likes the idea of contact sports, but they're very worried about maybe injuries, boxing, they hear a lot about like CTE, things like this, rugby is a lot of impact. What do you think about jiu-jitsu as a contact sport for parents or even adults or kids who might be worried about getting injured training? The main concepts about jiu-jitsu, jiu -jitsu, uh, it's like um, the, a Japanese word and it means gentle art. All right, so the core idea of it is that you control someone without impact. So we do not like punch and kick nobody on the face here. It's exactly the other way around. So all these fears about impact on the head, like boxing or rugby, all these high impact sports, it doesn't happen here. Because the kind of environment and the nature of Jiu Jitsu itself is exactly the other way around. That's the magic. That's why we're here. The whole history behind us and the Grace family and everything was to prove that you don't need that to control someone. So if you think like, come do a free try with us, I guarantee are you going to be happy. Cool. What do you think for, for children or for adults, some of the biggest things they can do outside of the dojo to help with their jiu-jitsu, whether that's diet or extra exercise, things like that. That's perfect. We're going to have to back a little beyond the time. So the jiu-jitsu, all the jiu-jitsu moved Japan to Brazil and met the Grace family and it become a little bit what we call Brazilian jiu-jitsu and it become what we call a lifestyle. Because the Brazilian jiu-jitsu is not the martial art itself, when I mean the, the fight skills itself, is a combination of behave, of diet, or everything. So we always incentive, incentive, I don't know if the word, we always push the kids, tell them they have to be nice, but also they should do exercise, they should eat salad, and everything is behind. So Jiu Jitsu without the philosophy behind, it's not the main thing. The whole Brazilian Jiu Jitsu package come with discipline, come with diet, come with good behave, come with respect. So if you think about you join just to learn how self-defense, not, it's not that at all, it's much bigger than it. You learn a lifestyle, and we're always talking about here, it's a healthy lifestyle. So your child or yourself as an adult, we're gonna be all the time talking about how you should be eating, how you should be exercise yourself, you should be sleeping, you should not smoke. Things like that, they, they, pack, they are a combination of the packet. Without this, there's no Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. And if someone was to bring their child and their child's very competitive and wants to go out and maybe compete, is that something that's supported here at the school? Yes, 100%. Myself and yourself as well, we have been done competitions. Since I moved to the UK, I have done like loads of competitions at Black Belt. I have some success, one a few few competitions at Black Belt, yourself won our competitions as well. So we do have advanced class for kids because that competition part also can help because compete, uh, you learn how to win and to lose. But more important, you learn how to prepare yourself to the challenge. That's the most aspect for the competition. When adult kid, everyone, I do have a challenge, how am I gonna deal with it and how am I gonna get there? So that's why we do have this competition part as well. It's not for everyone, but if you like that challenge, if you like prepare yourself to do something bigger and great, of course you can come here. We do, like I say, we have like competition, advanced class. So after some time, maybe can be something gonna help you to increase your life skills.
Oh, that's cool. And if, if my child, if I was to bring my child and they were maybe very small for their age or big for their age, do you move them up or down an age group? If they're little, they don't want to train with somebody too big, is that something that you control here? Yes, we, I have, myself have been studying how to teach in kids for a long time and that's one of the reasons we start splitting the kids in age groups. We never put a big child with a small one, all right? That combination is not good, all right? So we have like very specific age groups, what I have been studying for years, how to do that. And also even during the class, we always have two coaches on the class. So even if we have like split between the room, we have one special coach just to explain, explain something, sorry, to a little one of like uh, a newbie. That's exactly what we do. So we are a professional team, all right? And this professional team is always aware what's going on. So first we split age, then level, then experience. And with the two coaches, we make sure everybody gets the best of the class. Cool. Anything else? I don't know about adults, maybe? How about some adult stuff? Um, so if you were an adult, who wanted to come and do jiu-jitsu, but maybe you're a little bit out of shape, you've never kind of done any exercise for a few years, do you think they should get fit first and then come jiu-jitsu, or do you think they should just start? That's an excellent question. It doesn't make sense at all. You don't try to get fit to learn jiu-jitsu. You learn jiu-jitsu, then you get fit. All right, you're gonna learn like a life skill, a martial art. And how we work with that? We do have like beginners, intermediate and advanced. So you join as a beginner. We have the perfect program for you. We're gonna push you exactly the amount that you need to start build up that, that body condition. I don't know if I should say like that. Anyway, this strength and condition, but uh, we do not mix the thing. You do not go to the gym to learn how to swim. You go swimming lessons. So if you learn a martial arts, you go to jiu-jitsu lessons. You do not go to the gym to come to jiu-jitsu. Exactly the same. Oh, I want to learn how to swim. Go to the gym to get stronger to learn to swim. It doesn't make sense at all. That's exactly how I see that. And here, step by step, we are going to build that. All right? Like I say, we know what we're doing because that's what we do. So we guarantee you're gonna have like a path for one day, be a black belt. And what would my, my first day of Jiu Jitsu look like if I arrived for my trial class? Perfect, that's an excellent question as well. So you come to the reception, all right? And then you're gonna have someone very friendly downstairs, probably Tom, and then you're gonna borrow the uniform. That's the uniform we call Gip, all right? So you can do the class. Before you join your class, you're gonna explain to you how to wear the uniform, why you wear the uniform and how the class will be. The class for the beginner is very simple. We're gonna do a small warm up, small now I'm gonna say like quickly warm up, just to make sure your body is ready to do some exercise, but nothing too much, it's one hour lesson. And after this 10 minutes doing the warm up with very specific Jiu Jitsu movements, we're gonna teach a sequence of techniques, all right? Very simple way, step by step some way I guarantee you're gonna understand and you can do it and after that you are going to repeat the technique they're all part of like a beginner program all right what is composed of 20 lessons all these beginner programs they have been improving and adjusting year by year for more than 100 years so the way you're gonna start your jiu-jitsu journey like we like to like we like to say is the best way possible so step by step the main lessons, the foundation of the Jiu-Jitsu until you get ready for the next stage. And what's the, what's the path, what you said about the path to become a black belt one day, what does that look like, what does it entail, how long will that take somebody on average? Yes, it, it's hard to say because the way we work here is a very individual thing. The most important thing is a black belt is a simple a white belt who never give up. All right, so there is no exact the amount of time, depend the amount of energy you put on it. But the main thing is you're gonna have like up and downs in your journey, all right? And you're gonna be here to help, but it you're gonna change your life. You may be gonna get your black belt in six, eight, 10 years. It depends of you, of the coach, but it's not the main thing. The main thing is the journey 
how you're going to get there, the life lessons that you're going to have during the process. And even so, after the black belt, still alive. So Jiu-Jitsu doesn't finish as a black belt. It's like, it's a cliche, but it's just the beginning. And what do you think about the, the community here at Gracie Swindon? It's a, a friendly bunch of people. Like, what's the, what's the feeling in, in the classes? Well, that's the feeling here. I think it's the, the big difference of us about all Jiu-Jitsu academies in the world. We have like a very friendly learning environment. That's the main thing here. When you join, you feel it straight away how people are friendly and they are how they want to teach you, they want to help you. And it's become a bond between the team, the community, what can't be breaking. We have people training here for years like yourself, as we are together like seven years now and have more people on that time. And we change many people's life because that bond, that friendly learning environment is become unbreakable. And especially when you are adults, sometimes it's not easy to make new friends and learn a new skill. So we create it, think exactly about that person. You are adults, you're looking for learn something new, you're not sure what you should be doing. And then, oh, that's that bug over there. Mm, should I try something like that? Yes, you should because it will change your life. Cool, and on the timetable, you said we have beginners, um, intermediate advanced classes. Yes. There's also some mixed level classes in the mornings and at lunch times, and there's no gi classes. What are those like? What's the difference between Perfect. those different classes? Good question about, we try open the timetable as much class as possible, so we have the opportunity for everyone doing Jiu Jitsu. That's what we believe. So, uh, on the early morning, it's like before the work. So, everybody who come here early morning is so friendly because everybody wake up super early to do some sport before the job. So, when you come, you're going to start your day freshly with it. All right? Same thing at lunchtime. People come at lunchtime, lunch break, come here, training, talk a little bit with some friends, quick shower, and boom, back to work. And the big difference between gi and no gi is the gi is the more traditional way. They like it's part of the jiu jitsu philosophy, all right. And nowadays we work a little bit no gi as well. We just make the game a little bit fast. They are always jiu jitsu, just the difference the uniform, but they are a big part of the jiu jitsu family. Cool. And if somebody has an interest in like MMA and UFC, and maybe they saw Hoist UFC yeah. one, do you do you think that? Jiu-Jitsu here is still something that's important for that? Oh, 100%. If you have watched MMA, the Jiu-Jitsu is the main thing. It's the core of everything. I always have to be thankful for Royce and for all Grace family because I just live here in the UK now because of them. All right, and we just have UFC, all these things because of them. All right, so they change the world and everyone should appreciate that the way they change the world and then give so many people jobs and like things like that. We do also have some professional fighters here, all right? But uh, the thing is good for them to train here because exactly because they learn in friendly environment. They become part of like a strong team. They are not like just a camp. They have like a learning routine, create like a, how can I say, like without finish? Like skill development. They skill develop, but never around. finish. They keep yeah. working the skill, exactly. The skill develop that goes and goes and goes forever. Thank you everyone to watch this video. Thank you Coach Jake to be here with me today. All right, if you look to any more information regarding the Jiu Jitsu, Jiu Jitsu in Swindon, I have been working super hard to create this to push the bar high for the Jiu Jitsu in Suino. So any more information, feel free to contact me. There is my personal information below. Also, gracefulinon.com with all the classes, everything that we are doing here. Thank you for watching.